In medicine, we measure everything. Blood pressure, heart rate, oxygen. When I was in medical school, I learned about something that I couldn't shake. A simple formula called the GFR equation. It was used to measure kidney function. Hidden inside it was a race adjustment. If you were black, and only if you were black, the equation increased your kidney score. Assuming our bodies were different, stronger, tougher, less in need of help. That single assumption changed lives. Men black patients were less likely to be diagnosed with chronic kidney disease, less likely to see a kidney specialist, less likely to receive a life-saving kidney transplant. I realized that racism in medicine isn't always loud. Sometimes it's written quietly, into the code, the data, the design, until inequity begins to look like accuracy. When I learned this in 2019, I was a medical student. I didn't have much power, but I had a phone. So I started sharing what I was learning, posting short videos on TikTok and Instagram about how racism hides in medicine. I wasn't trying to go viral, I was trying to make people see. And somehow millions did. In 2021, a new equation was created without race. And by 2023, kidney transplant wait times for black patients were beginning to be corrected. That's why this award for conviction means so much to me. Because Muhammad Ali didn't just fight opponents, he fought systems. He refused to fight a war he knew was unjust. He battled a disease that tried to steal his voice and through every round, in the ring, in the courts, even in his own health, he fought for the dignity of the human spirit. He used the tools of his time to confront injustice, not to run from it, and taught us all that the true measure of strength isn't how hard you hit, it's how deeply you can heal. Two years ago, a woman messaged me on Instagram. Her sister had been waiting for years for kidney transplant. She'd seen my videos about the GFR equation and shared them with her sister, who then took them to her doctor. Her doctor looked at the videos, confirmed that they are correct, and because of that conversation, her sister was moved up five years on the kidney transplant list. That's what's possible when we choose to see fully and serve fully. We remember that fairness isn't abstract, it's actionable. Ali once said that impossible is just a word used by those afraid to try. He proved that with his life. And tonight, in his honor, I hope to continue to prove that with mine. Thank you.